Allen Berger, a Rocky Crest resident, was woken up by his wife, who says she had heard some disturbing noises that sounded like intruders breaking into one of their neighbor's flats. Upon waking up, Allen bravely grabbed his gun and stepped outside. His now deceased son Edrin followed his father. One of the intruders opened fire and one of the bullets hit a wall. The other injured Allen in his right arm. I'm lucky. If it was a bit lower, a bit lower, because it's a nerve that runs through here, I would have lost an arm. This was just the beginning of what would become a fatal incident. 32-year-old Edrin was behind his father and a bullet struck him in the stomach. Um, when the shots were fired, he had basically just gotten, out, gotten up out of his bed and he just came out of his room and he was basically caught in the line of fire. He just screamed, Mommy, I've been shot. Call the police, call the police. And I think my parents were very shocked because they didn't realize that he, he had gotten up out of his bed. They didn't even know he was standing behind them. He made rescue and uh, city police. They were immediately on the scene. It wasn't a white, white thing. And that's a big plus for them, yeah. that they came immediately without, yes. uh, but they, they, they came here in, I think, three or four buckies, but they were here immediately. The ambulance, ambulance also the same, immediately on the scene. And they tried the best of the city police guys that has a little bit of medical experience or first aid experience, tried to help him while he was lying here and that's it. The suspect is still at large and the family can only hope that he is brought to book. Although these flats are protected with an electric fence, this did not stop the armed robbers to break in. It is also understood that there was another break in on Sunday night and people living in these flats, they don't feel safe anymore. I am Aaron Mshaukwa reporting for the News on One.